Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Investigators confirm the flap run is from MH370. The Golden Knights parachute team is on a safety stand down. The Robinson R44 helicopter gets an autopilot. I'm Brie Cross, it is September 8th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. French authorities have now confirmed what was already a logical assumption. The flaperon that was found on a beach on Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean is in fact part of a Boeing 777 that was operating as Malaysian Airlines Flight MH370 when it vanished on March 8, 2014. It's reported that the numbers on the flaperon match those of the missing aircraft serial number. Paris prosecutor said in a statement that it, quote, is possible today to say with certainty that the flaperon discovered on Reunion Island on July 29th came from the flight MH370, end quote. However, this affirmation does not get investigators any closer to pinpointing the location of the wreckage of the plane or the remains of the passengers and crew. A search for the wreckage of the airplane is continuing in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Australia. The U.S. Army Golden Knights parachute team remains on a safety stand down and pulled out of an international skydiving competition while they look into an accident last month which fatally injured a team member. The stand down came after Master Sergeant Corey Hood was fatally injured during a performance at the Chicago Air and Water Show on August 16th. He collided with another skydiver and was knocked unconscious. When he did not open his parachute, a safety device automatically opened his reserve chute, but Hood impacted a building as he fell. The team had been scheduled to participate in the FAI Skydiving World Cup, where it would have been defending its title in the eight-way formation skydiving. In a statement, the team said missing the competition is, quote, difficult but necessary to ensure the team continues its story and legacy as a world-renowned parachuting and skydiving team, end quote. Golden Knights Commander Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Weinrich said he has every confidence that the team will be performing again soon. The Golden Knights website does not address the stand down or provide information as to when demonstrations will continue. After the break, Robinson introduces new autopilot option. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The same Genesis Aerosystems Helicopter Stability Augmentation System and Autopilot that was FAA approved on the Robinson Helicopter R66 earlier this year is now available on Robinson's top-selling R44 model. The R44 Autopilot option has all of the same modes and functionality as the R66, including basic stability augmentation, heading hold, altitude hold, navigation signal tracking, and approach guidance. The Autopilot is now available as an option on R-44 and R-66 helicopters, equipped with Aspen's EFD-1000H primary flight display. The Autopilot controls are located in the avionics stack, and additional trim and off buttons are located on the cyclic. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here is this week's Aero Calendar. Here's something that's not an air show, but we bet it's an event a lot of pilots would like to be involved in. On September 11th through the 13th, 
EAA is holding their fantasy flight camp. Participants in this flight camp will receive the ultimate warbird training camp experience at the EAA Aviation Center in Oshkosh. They'll learn about and fly two World War II trainer planes. Experience Southern Hospitality at the Wings Over Natchitoches event being held in Natchitoches, Louisiana on September 12th. The air show features the Aeroshell Aerobatics Team, the P-51 Charlotte's Chariot, and Kevin Coleman in his extra 300 SHP. We're a little late on this one, but you still have plenty of time to get there. The National Stearman Fly-In started yesterday and continues through the end of this week. It's being held in Galesburg, Illinois, and is the 44th consecutive year for the event. It offers a generous mix of flying events, technical seminars, entertainment, and food. Everyone loves the Stearman. Branson, Missouri offers family entertainment, and on September 15th and 16th, they feature their Air Power History Tour at the airport. The event is open to the public where visitors can tour and take rides in a B-29, C-45, and Boeing PT-17, better known as a Stearman. This is all part of Branson's Veterans Month celebration. After these messages, Blue Origin gets a perk from Brevard County. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Brevard County, Florida Commission has approved an $8 million grant for Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin Commercial Launch Company to build and launch spacecraft near NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The total incentive package to Blue Origin is about $40 million. A former FAA administrator turned Airbus executive said that it is time for the U.S. air traffic control system to be privatized and sooner rather than later. He said that privatization is, quote, about efficiency, end quote. Business aviation in the U.S. does not support his point of view. The Collings Foundation Wings of Freedom Tour is headed for Greenville Downtown Airport in Greenville, South Carolina, October 23rd to the 25th. The tour features three rare aircraft that include a B-17 Flying Fortress, a B-24 Liberator, and a P-51 Mustang Fighter. The first two F-35A Lightning IIs assigned to the 388th Fighter Wing at Hill Air Force Base were delivered last week. Wing Commander Colonel David Lyons said these aircraft represent the future of tactical aviation for the United States. Visitors to the Bell Helicopter Alliance Fort Worth Air Show September 12th through the 13th will get an exclusive glimpse inside the world of unmanned systems. Also scheduled is an appearance by aerobatic performer Matt Chapman flying the newly debuted Embry-Riddle Extra 330LX. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The score was 5-4 in a tennis match last week between Flava Panetta, the number 26 tennis player in the world, and Monica Nicolescu when an uninvited guest dropped into the Louis Armstrong Stadium. The gate crasher was a UAV that crashed onto the court, forcing the New York City Police Department to halt play while they investigated. It's reported that the aircraft flew over the grandstand before entering Armstrong Stadium. The operator was found shortly after the incident. Daniel Verley, a 26-year-old teacher in New York City, was charged with reckless endangerment and operating a drone in New York City Public Park. 
Verley teaches at the Academy of Innovative Technology in Brooklyn. It remains to be seen if the FAA will take any punitive action. However, UAV industry leaders and associations have recently requested that the FAA take strong actions in cases such as this, especially as other incidents continue to crop up. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.